Yo, welcome back to Containing Luxury. I know we've been away for a while, but we're back. And today we're gonna to be doing a special tour of behind the scenes of what's going on in our facility. It's gonna be super loud, but let's get started. But this is a specialty kind of cool unit that we wanna first start you with. This isn't even for sale, but this is gonna be our construction offices for our sales staff, because this whole facility is turning into a showroom in the next 30 days. So this will be our corner office with our little sliding glass doors. This is a specialty 40 foot container that has four entry doors down the whole side. We had to pay a premium for this container, but it was well worth it. So we can pick this up and move it anywhere we want. We move out of this facility, we move to a new one. We can actually pick this thing up, put it in and immediately have sales staff and managers working from day one. So this will be my office because it's got the corner. Now if we jump over here, we're going to see a couple of units that are very similar but slightly different. Oh, we got the lights off in here, so this one's dark. So this is one of our base model 20 foot containers. Um, it's really as ex uh, inexpensive as they come. So this is 35,000 completely finished out, ready to hook up and transport anywhere really in the world, but most of the time uh, anywhere in the country. So this is the base model. It's always going to have our inverter pioneer air conditioning system. It's going to have your cooktop, your, your nice, you know, modern bar sinks. So even our base model, we use a lot of the same finishes we put in our premiums. Same flooring, same cabinets, same countertops. It's just a little bit different of a window and glass package and some additional windows that we often include, maybe some different cabinetry, but the bathroom's almost identical. This one's just missing our, our usual uh, coffee bar station here and then the full on regular bathroom. But let's go find one that's more lit up. So if we take a step back down to this one, this is our cool military green color. And we got some lights going on in here. We got guys working on electrical and this is again, very similar to our base model package, but we added in these cool big backsplash windows. So this will have all of our cabinetry built in. This is kind of like this stage right before the last one that you saw. So this is before all of our cabinetry countertops, bar sinks go in, uh, a little bit different of a window package. And then they have yet to cut out all the lights and this the bathroom kind of in the in-between stages. So now if we go to the next one, we should be a little bit further along on this one. We're, we're walking through our maze here, so. All right, so this is one of our products. This is a high cube 20 foot, really rare, but when we get them, they kind of go at a premium. And believe me, it's not price gouging. These 20 foot high cube containers actually cost us more money than a 40 foot high cube container because they're not as common. So the most commonly found containers you're gonna get are standard 20 foot heights and 40 foot high cube containers. So this is one of those, we call them unicorns, that's a 20 foot high cube. So a lot of extra work actually goes into this being that it's got a little bit higher ceilings, but it's a, a fantastic product. It's one I personally have myself. Uh, and this is gonna be a model that stays in our facility. We have another one right over here and that one's sold to a customer. All right, well, let's talk about while we're back here, kind of what to expect as far as hookups are concerned when buying our products. So this is our mini split inverter uh, AC system on the outside, but we use special stainless steel brackets so they won't rust out. Our power connections come right standard. You can, you can hook this up just like you would with any electrical on a new construction home, or we automatically come with generator ports so you can literally plug this thing in, hook up a garden hose and be ready to go. But if you wanna do it more permanent, you can hardwire directly into the system. And then in the case of a power outage, you can convert over to your generator port. You can hook up a garden hose right there. So literally, I drive this up, we drop it off or crane it into your backyard. We're gonna hook the water up into here. We're gonna take a power cable and we're gonna literally plug this thing in with a generator cord and boom, you're up and running. And we have composting toilets, which makes it so you don't even have to hook up a sewer system into this container. But most of our clients opt to tie these directly into their existing septic or sewer system on their property. So this is 
another model very similar to our, our lower grade model, but it has an upgraded window and door package, which are insulated impact rated. It's got the backsplash window, and this customer opted for all the hookups to be there if they wanted to ever add the kitchen, but they opted not to install the kitchen, that they just wanted to leave this as open space because they're gonna use it as just a pool cabana slash like uh, office. And then if they wanna convert it down the road, they've got all their plumbing connections, small appliance circuits, everything ready to quickly down the road, install the full kitchenette, everything, uh, including the cooktop. And then this one just got finished painted. I think they're going through cleaning because it's ready for delivery. Um, this client's super excited. And they also opted, which is not here, and I unfortunately don't have any here, but we have really cool custom trailers designed to ship all these containers around. This customer opted to purchase one of those and it's got leveling jacks and will just be literally dropped off in their backyard, level the system out, plug it in, hook up the garden hose, ready to go. Should we go outside? Yeah. All right. Oh no, I don't have sunglasses. Okay, we're back out in the sunny Florida. This is the backside of our model, which is kind of cool. A lot of people don't know this, but we specifically did not put any windows down the entire side of our model 40 foot container so that you could buy two of them and turn them into a duplex or four of them and turn them into a quadplex with a service area in the middle. So that's why we specifically do not put windows on our 40 foot model along one wall. Now this is a container that we're just currently using as storage, but it's about to go into our showroom and be built into the very first duplex unit out of our factory. And we already have some big orders preparing for these. So these are really cool. And stay tuned to see the inside of that thing. All right, I know you guys have seen this one, but we couldn't be a tour without going back through our flagship model. This one's nice and cool in here, I love it. So we got the air conditioning. This one's our, you know, our, kind of our flagship model. Now we did delete this if you guys have been following along, I know, but it just, we had so many customers that wanted their own bad, a king size bed to put bunks here, whatever it was. So this model actually we sold to a different customer, but uh, yeah, we deleted this whole bed system. So now it's an open bedroom, put whatever furniture you want. Then our usual vestibule where you can, you know, you got your louvered pocket door there. You got your super nice, awesome, full size. You know, this is not your typical RV bathroom. You know, I can actually stand in this, which is amazing. And we got little soap dispensers in here, the Simple Human. You know, we're not doing cheap, cheap stuff. Really nice barn, uh, uh, what are these things called? Barn door? Barn, barn door. Barn door. Barn door. Barn door. Barn door shower system. So just super nice, you know, we're going for high end luxury looks, um, being that they're small, small spaces, you wanna make them as nice as you possibly can. And that's where we kind of get into these anti-fog uh, illuminated mirror, super cool system, absolutely love this. So this is our, you know, full size fridge location. Um, you know, it's full regular kitchen, you know, so we are gonna be going to uh, having a, just a regular 30 inch gap here so you can pick any range you want. Um, you can do gas or electric. You got your range hood that this could also be replaced with a full on microwave uh, with range hood built into the bottom of it. And uh, yeah, so it gives you a lot of options, a lot of custom ability. Um, and then, you know, we, we opted for low energy in this unit. So this is an all in one, but you could do a stackable here. We actually are looking to shift this one down and we'll have, uh, I'm gonna get into it when you do the tour on the next one. So you'll have to subscribe and like because that's only that's how we survive. All right, that's all we got for this factory tour, but we have another facility that's about three times as large. So stay tuned to that one. We'll get to it probably next week, but who knows? Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Containing luxury, we out. Back to work.